Hi friends, welcome back. In a previous video, I introduced completing the square, but I think it's so important that we're gonna be practicing it again. So grab your notebook, take these notes and, and practice these examples as we go along. Uh, here are the first, if you wanna practice, pause the video, practice, and then see if you got them right, you can do that absolutely. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this and turn it into a perfect square trinomial. And the way that we do that is we take half of this guy, so that's negative four, and we square it. Now, quantity negative 4 is positive 16, but that negative is important because now when we factor it, we have x minus 4 squared, not minus 16, minus 4. So it's whatever we're squaring. So same with this guy. If we take half of this, that is negative 9 squared. That's going to be positive 81. But to factor this, we would end up with m minus, because remember we always use this first sign, which is why that's important to put that there, 9 squared. Basically you're taking one of these and one of these. Uh, okay, so for examples 3 and 4, this is a little different. We were given the uh, last part, the constant, but we need to find the middle term now. So this guy right here is a perfect square. It is 13 squared, right? So we know that the perfect square, if I were to factor this, it would be, we use this first one, x minus, I turned all these, we're going to make this one a plus because all of these have been minus so far, x minus 13 squared. Now remember our test to see if this is a perfect square trinomial is to uh, multiply these two things together, so 13x, and double it. 13 doubled would give us 26x. That needs to go in here for this to be a perfect square trinomial. Let's try it with this one. So we take one of these and one of these, and we're talking square, uh, the square squared version of it. That, yeah, square root, I guess you could say. So x plus, because that's a plus sign, because I fixed it, 12 squared, because 12 squared would give us 144. Now, x times 12 is 12x. Double it, we get 24x. So to make this a perfect square trinomial, we would have to have 24x in the middle. All right, let's talk about what happens when it's not a beautiful, perfect, even number, like 11 here. Remember, we need half of, we have to do half of this squared. So half of 11 is five and a half, or it's a decimal 5.5, .5, but you don't want a decimal or a mixed number here. You want your improper fraction. So if you have 11 and you multiply that by one half, you can just multiply straight across top, straight across the bottom to give us 11 halves. Now, that 11 halves squared would be 121 over 4. So our constant here at the end would need to be 121 over 4. But if we were to factor that, it would be x plus 11 halves squared, like this. Uh, now, let's double check. Remember, this times this is 11 halves, and then double it. So if we take 11 halves, a little more side work over here, double it, doubling something is just multiplying by 2 over 1. These guys cancel out and I'm left with 11 over 1 or 11. So we've done that correctly. So let's take half of this guy. Half of that would be 7 halves squared. So that's going to be 49 over 4. That gives us a plus 7 halves squared. And again, if we multiply these two things together, we get 7 halves. Double it, we get 7. Uh, all right. So this is another one where we have to uh, figure out that middle term. Well, uh, remember, we, we go like this, x, and then we bring down this sign, so plus 3 halves, because that's the square root of 9 over 4. We take these two things and we double it. So 3 halves times 2, notice that we can cancel out those 2s, we're left with 3x. So 3x would need to be in our linear term in order for this to be a perfect square trinomial. Now over here we have um, x minus 9 halves squared, because that's the square root of 81 and the square root of 4. Now we've got to take uh, negative 9 halves, we multiply those together, we get 9 halves, double it. So 9 halves times 2 over 1 would give us 9x. And so our linear term would need to be 9x for this to be a perfect square trinomial. So hopefully that helps you understand completing the square a little bit better. We'll see you next time.